Welcome everyone to this new video tutorial. We're going to see today how to install Python 3 and OpenCV 4 on Windows. Let's first go on python.org, then we choose downloads, and then we go on, uh, we see the download for Windows, and then this is the later, latest version at the moment, and we go on view the full list of downloads to pick some different version. We go down and here we have the list of all the versions of Python. We have Python 2.7, 3.7, which is the latest at the moment, 3.6, and going down all the older, the previous versions. Let's go with Python 3.6. I'm picking this one because I've seen that for computer vision at the moment is the best supported by, uh, by the other libraries. And we go down and here we have different files for the install where we have uh, the source code, the version for Mac and different files for Windows. We are interested only in this one, Windows X8664 executable installer. And then we click and download this one. All these are just the, uh, these three are just the same, but they install Py Python in different ways. Here you download a zip file, here is a web-based installer. And we have two different type of Python. We have the 32-bit version and the 64-bit version. There is, they, works at the, they, they work at the same way. The only difference from 32-bit version of the programs to the 64-bit is how they handle the memory when we have some heavy, heavy application. The only reason why I'm choosing 64 4-bit version is the same as why I chose Python 3.6 because the 64-bit version is bet better supported by computer vision libraries at the moment. So once we choose this version, we can we save the file and, and I'm going to install this version. Install Python 3.6.8-64-bit. First, remember to add Python 3.6 to the path. This means that we can run Python straight from the control, uh, the prompt command of Windows. If you don't do that, we cannot run it. So I highly suggest you to do this because it will make our life much easier after we install Python. Now let's go we customize the installation. Let's leave everything here as it is. And here I prefer to download the precompiled standard library and also install for all the users. That's up to you how you manage your computer. In this case, I'm going to download to install it for all the users and then click on install. The installation will take a few minutes. I'm going to Pause the video for a moment and I will be back when the installation is finished. And the installation is, uh, is finished. We can see setup was successful. So we can close this installation and we can try to run Python. So we can use the prompt command of Windows. We go on the search bar and I search bar which for okay for some reason i have a uh, time to open okay cmd and then let's just type python if everything was installed correctly we will see python running so python 3.6.8 so let's try like let's print some random letters on the keyboard and here is the result. So Python is working. We have Python, so I can quit for the moment. And we can now install OpenCV. There are two ways to install OpenCV. We can download, uh, first way, we can download the source code from the OpenCV website. And as the source code doesn't work originally on Windows, we need to compile it using a C++ compiler. What does this mean? 
it means that we are converting the source code of OpenCV to work with on a Windows machine. And this is the first way. There is a second method, much easier, which is to download already a compiled OpenCV version that already will work on Windows. There is a website and it's this one, I will put the link in the description somewhere, which is the website from Harvard University of California, which has many libraries of, OpenCV, uh, of Python and there is also OpenCV. So they offer all compiled version of these libraries already, already worked, uh, already, they are ready to work on Windows. So let's take a look at this OpenCV. We can see that there are different versions of OpenCV. There is OpenCV 2.4, OpenCV 3.4 and OpenCV 4. For each version of OpenCV, there is a different version of Python. So let's, uh, let's take into account OpenCV 3.4, for example. And we can see here there is CP35, which, it means that this version works with Python 3.5. Win32, it means 32-bit version of Python. Second one, the same OpenCV 3.4, Python 3.5, but 64-bit version. We are interested in OpenCV4, so we go on OpenCV4 for Python 3.6, 64-bit version. And we have two OpenCV4 for Python 3.6, 64-bit version. We have this one and then this one. The difference is that in this one there is contrib, plus contrib. We have OpenCV standard, uh, OpenCV plus contrib. Plus Contrib will have some extra module and extra libraries that might be really useful when we do some application. So I highly suggest to download the Contrib library. So we go on this one, we click on this one and we download it. Once we downloaded the file, let's go on the directory where the file is located. So from Firefox, I will just click here and we can see this is the file that we just downloaded and it's on the folder download so let's again open the prompt command of windows i will type again cmd let's remember this time to open it we uh, run as administrator as we're going to install the file and we need some extra permissions so run as administrator and then we can move on so let's uh, again copy this directory and let's type cd which stands for change uh, change directory and press enter. Now we are in the directory where the file is located. Now we can run the python-m pip install command which is the command to install ex external libraries in python. Once we type this command then we need to say which file we want to install and as we are already in the directory downloads now we can say that this is the file from this directory that we want to install let's copy the entire name of the file included after the dot so vhl copy and we paste it here and let's press enter And when we see the message successfully install OpenC Python 4.0.1 plus contrib, it means that OpenCV has been installed correctly. So let's, even if the installation is not, is not completely finished, let's try at least to run this one. So we can write Python and let's just try to import CV2. And we get, of course, an error, NumPy core failed to import because we have OpenCV, but we don't have NumPy, which is the second module that we need to use OpenCV. So I can quit from the Python command and now we can install NumPy. The installation of NumPy is much easier as we don't have to download anything. We just run the Python pip command and then we type NumPy. So on the command prompt, we just run python 
dash m pip install and then let's type numpy we can see that numpy has just been downloaded and now the installation is going installing collected package numpy And I repeat again, remember to run the prompt command as administrator because if you uh, run it without having administrator permissions, you might get some error where it says that you don't have enough permissions to install the modules. Anyway, now we see that successfully installed NumPy 1.16.2. So let's run again. Python and let's try to import OpenCV. Python. Let's import first NumPy and then import CV2. When we see this that we don't get any error, it means that the installation was done correctly. So we're now ready to use OpenCV.